guys hi friends today i'm going to show you how to update your powershell help modules so for that i'm just going to open the powershell first and now there's a command called update help and uh, we will just go to the help module of update help command so these are the syntax which is given for the update help command and using this update help command you can update your powershell modules help that is the thing which was given here like the name syntax the aliases the remarks which whatever things which was updated by the microsoft will be updated in your powershell so what we can do is we can just go to the online help menu for the command update help hyphen online so to see this in order to execute this command you need to have a valid internet connection so if you are not having the valid internet connection the help window browser will not open so i'm just going to execute this command <coughs> so you see here it will open the update help of microsoft page here you can see all the things which are available in your browser module that is in the browser format and here if you are if you need the detailed description of this update help command you can have a look at here and these are the syntax that is the parameters which you are going to uh, which you need to use it in order to execute those commands and let's go for the examples here you can also see the examples here by executing the command e x a Else, here you can see it is not showing the examples because it was not having the examples in the help so I'm just going to execute some of the examples so here you can see by simply just entering this command it will just clear it and now I'm just going to execute the command now update help just going to hit enter let's see what is happening actually in order to execute this command you need to have a valid internet connection again I, what I am saying is when executing the command like so when executing this command it will open the browser menu so that is the browser window for showing the help with the detailed description in the browser format and if you need to execute the command update it it will actually get the modules that is the latest modules from the microsoft so you need to have a valid internet connection for that i'm just going to enter if you see it was a connecting to the internet here see just locating and downloading all the modules or it was updating all those help content modules actually it will take some time because all the uh, help contents needs to be updated and installed here since this was a windows 8.1 operating system it was having a latest to help sorry it was having the latest to powershell and anyhow it will take some time and you need to wait Let's wait what happens. So you can see it is downloading module by module and it was installing the help content easily without any issues with just executing only one help command and if you are a powershell guy you need to update this help content day by day because 
the Microsoft will release the help content and update its origin very frequently and you need to update the commands that is the help content and also some of the commands will also get so so it is showing or uh, throwing some kind of errors here let's see what it happened it was showing fail to update the help for the module PowerShell management PowerShell utility PowerShell diagnostics Microsoft PowerShell host security so here you can see it was showing that it was failed because we need to run this PowerShell with the elevated privileges that is the run as administrator so what I'm going to do now is so this modules have been failed that is a this help content has been failed so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run the PowerShell with elevated privileges just right click here and run as administrator you see here it was open so I'll just a minute I will just maximize the fonts here so I'll just maximize the font now I am just going to enter the command update help let's see what happens So it was downloading and installing the contents. So by doing this, you can just uh, install all the help content from the internet that is from the Microsoft server directly into your system. And if you are using the Windows Server 2008 or 2012 operating system, that is a server kind of uh, server operating system, you can just use this command. But you need to keep in mind that you can also update the modules. That is the PowerShell modules, the help content modules separately. I will just show you after this command gets executed. So if you see, uh, if you see this module, it was uh, actually executing all the module commands in uh, alphabetic manner. So the command has been completed successfully without any issues. And now, what I'm going to show you is. If you see last time you have seen only some sort of things that is only small window with only limited commands that is limited descriptions and limited links here so now after updating the windows powershell help content it was showing a lot of descriptions and a lot more than this and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run a command which I'm just going to update a module or I'm just going to check whether the module has been updated here so let's just check it just going to hit enter 
if you see the module has been updated so this is a kind of a microsoft powershell module here and i will show you in detail about the modules in my next video and uh, i'll just show you how to check for other modules or other services also so a module is a kind of service which was used in the powershell and actually I have so the command which I am executing is not working so there is no more Windows function module we have found for this command so I think I was executing a wrong service command so so this is how you will do here so this is how you will update the powershell help content with the help of by with the help of uh, update help using a modules but that is separately executing the modules so um, let's go for the another help so if you see here you can just execute this command here in the powershell module it's going to hit enter here let's see whether this command gets executed so if you see that this command will not be executed in windows client operating system <laughs> This is because the server manage is only available in Windows Server kind of operating system. So this command will not be executed here, and there is no. If you see here, there is no Windows PowerShell modules were found that match the following pattern. Verify the pattern and the, try the command again. So when it was showing or throwing an error, you just check and read whether it was uh, understood to you and then later go and execute and uh, try to execute this command because the error which is throwing with the command which will be helpful to know what the error which you have done so keep in mind and uh, keep that in mind and do that and let's try another command here Let's try this command. It was just going to execute the language packs. That is the help content of language. So it was showing that it was executed successfully and do not throw any kind of confirmation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to So this is the web browser command which would be useful for you to check what is actually happening here. You can so if you see here in detail. So if you see here in detail, you can just use the web browser command for actually know how what is actually happening when you are executing the command. I think it might be helpful to you and you might have a little knowledge about this command right now. And thank you for watching the video and subscribe my channel if you like the videos and I am just going to post some more and more kind of partial videos which will be helpful to you. And thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.